I'm going to show you a little haul that I bought from HomeSense. Also, our HomeSense winners combined together. So, I picked up these set of 16 paper clips with the flamingos on them. They are really a good match. I'm going to make a album with the um, Flamingo set. I'm doing a Las Vegas album and when I made this little flip, uh, tag flip up I had the idea of the let's go and light and desert and all that kind of stuff to do uh, Las Vegas thing. So when I saw these paper clips I thought oh this will be a nice little addition to the album. I also found these little pom pom paper clips dollars this compare at seven so those are really cute come in a nice package I think we use this box for something let's go put it up on and then this was the main fine so this says here on the bottom 18 or 25 pounds which is quite expensive in comparison to the price that they have here Compare it to $14, reduced to $9.99, reduced to $5. So I can see why it didn't sell. I'm going to take this case off of it. I mainly bought it for this because I'm making a travel journal from our trip to Las Vegas. So I thought I could easily use this. So I see like why it didn't sell. These are like <laughs> these tiny squares. Like is it? You were gonna plan anything in this little tiny little square. What that like <laughs> you barely write two words in there. And maybe if they were short words. The idea is neat. It's got meal planning, shopping list, budget, and notes. So that's kind of like a uh, fun sort of idea. The budget planner may work. The shopping list one would have been good. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna make my own sized cards and then I'm going to basically scrap them. Now another thing that I've had for a really long time are these October afternoon album pages and dividers. So my thoughts are I could probably use these as the pages for this album. I would cover up everything see if they'll line up. See, that's perfect, because all I have to do is make those line up pretty decently. So all I have to do is come in They already rate like that a hundred times better. And look at that, it's like the perfect fit. That's gonna be great. And even if it sticks out a little bit over the edge, I don't mind before I put it back a little bit. When it's laying open, it'll be good. It has a little slap on it. Let's try that with one of these. Let's see what, how that one looks. This is a pretty. These two short. Just make sure I have a coordinating color out here. And then I mean any of these little colors to show me things I'm gonna pick up. But uh, I'm gonna have stuff come out the top, like probably one of these pom-poms can come out the top um, in there at some point. So anyway, that was my little haul. And I'm excited to put this all together and going to the crop and create this weekend. So I will show you what I create with this and how I transform.
transform this little book into my scrapbook of Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do a project share. This is the album that I repurposed and made into a little travel journal. So if you remember me making this tag flip with the Amy Tangerine on a whim bundle. So I used this to create this tag flip. And then I used some of the tags, and I'm gonna still do some more, but I used one of the tags in here. And when I made this tag, I was immediately thinking of this trip because it had the desert and the airplane, and I knew that I would use this when we went to Las Vegas. So I'm just gonna give you a little flip through, save the room keys, and took a picture of the room. I used October Afternoons Mid Midway Collection, or I think that's what it's called, a lot on those two pages. And this is a perfect little match with the carousel. Here's another example of where I used the page from my tag flip. Now, this ended up being perfect because we went to the restaurant called Tacos and Margaritas and when I saw this little taco truck, I was thinking, what on earth would you do with that? But it worked out perfect because that was where we went on Friday night with the other people that were there from Ontario. I'm still gonna add a little page in here, a little half page to flip through. That was a uh, time at the Bellagio. I have another Amy Tangerine Hustle and Heart kit. If you look at that, there's um, a bundle on the website as well. And it's got that tiger paper and tiger. I wish they could show you this. It's got these tigers in that um, bundle. So I want to do something with those guys. So these were some of those, I think they're called glossy dots that we got at the Crop and Create. I immediately put those to work. Again, some of the Boo to You collection came in here with those little sparkly pumpkins since it was a great pumpkin roadshow beer festival. And these are some of my vintage October afternoon items that I was using up there, as well as this was. So yeah, so that's where I've got so far, but look at how full it is already. <laughs> I should have bought a bigger book. I wasn't planning well ahead when I did Friday and realized, um, I'm not sure how many more pages I can fit in here. So that's where I've headed with that. But anyway, it just shows you a way that you can repurpose that album that I got for $5 at Winner's Home Sense. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos.